Hey guys, welcome to Draw with Sandy at the Little Artistic Nook. Today we'll be drawing this cute little brontosaurus. To begin, draw out an oval for your brontosaurus's eye near the top left of your page. Next, you can trace over the top of the eye and extend two lines for eyelashes towards the left side. Our dinosaur is looking to the right, so I'm going to draw an oval or a large circle near the top right side of the eye and then a small heart just underneath and then go ahead and shade around these two areas to fill in the eye. To draw in a little cheek, I'm going to start on one edge near the bottom of the eye and draw a curve all the way underneath and close it off on the other. And then I'm going to just draw a small eyebrow above the eye. To begin drawing the head, let's start by placing a dot above the eyebrow. Then from there, let's start to curve a line that's moving down and towards the right side of the page coming out in front of the eye. Stop just about in line with the bottom of the cheek, then come underneath and start to draw a curved line moving back towards the front of the face and we'll close it off. So we have something that looks like big U facing the top left corner. You can add a little mouth by a little curve and a small dot for a nostril just in front of the eye and cheek. Now I'm going to come back to the top of the head and I'm going to start to curve a line towards the left and you want it to go past the bottom of the face so really bring it towards the left side of the page and then you're going to start to straighten it down towards the bottom and I'm going to go maybe just past halfway on my paper. Next we'll finish the front side by coming just underneath the head and I'm going to draw a line that follows the same curve that's a little bit shorter. Now let's continue the bottom side of the neck by just extending that first line or the line that's closest to the left side of your page just down and slightly towards the center. We're going to draw our first leg in line with the shorter side of the neck by drawing a vertical line down towards the bottom of our page, a horizontal line, not too long, and then another vertical line with a small curve towards the center near the top. And go ahead and close off the longer side of your dinosaur's neck. Now starting back at the short side of the neck, begin to draw a small curve towards the face and bring up the back of your brontosaurus's body by creating a nice big arch. You can make it as big as you want going as far across your page as you like. Then start to bring the line back down towards the bottom. I'm going to have this line end around the same spot as the bottom of my front foot. Then we're going to come back to the front of the body and we're going to draw in the other leg by just extending a small line from the neck and closing just behind the front foot. You can draw in some little semicircles just at the front of the feet for some little toes. Now find the place where the neck is meeting the front leg and imagine a line going across and then continue it on the other side drawing a really slightly curved line to about halfway across your body. From the back of the brontosaurus we'll finish off the tail by continuing that line down and kind of across the bottom of our page. You can finish it off maybe just past the belly line. And then to create the tail moving into the body, I'm going to draw out a open triangle with a little bit of a curve as I come past the bottom of her belly. If you have a really large space between her belly line and the front of her tail, you can bring it a little bit closer. Otherwise, you're going to draw in the back leg by just creating a curved or vertical line that's coming from the body and just touching the top of the tail. You can draw in the final leg by just drawing a small line between the bottom of the belly and the top of the tail. And now it's time to create the setting. So to begin, I'm just going to draw out a really loose ground line that's moving from one side of the page to the other and a little bit higher than the bottom of her feet. So this line is going to disappear in behind her body since her tail is quite low and then just come out the other side. So the first thing I'm going to add is just a really 
big broad leaf plant on the right and I'm going to do that by just drawing out a big curved line towards the center and then making a point at the top and leaving it nice and wide at the bottom where it touches the ground. I'm just going to keep making these shapes at different angles so some will be pointing up, some will be sideways and really you can play with it and have them face any direction you want. Then once you have enough in the foreground, you can start to add these shapes in behind your first set of leaves. So to do that, it's just like drawing a whole bunch of upside down V shapes that are just meeting up with the lines in front of it. I'm going to do another smaller but very similar plant just in front of our dinosaur. So again, just make some big broad leaves with a nice little pointy top. And you know, you can add as many of these plants as you like, or if you've got some other favorite plants you wanna add in, feel free to do that as well. And for just one last little whimsical detail, let's just draw a nice little cloud up here just above the brontosaurus's back. You can make it as big and bubbly as you want. And then, of course, we're going to add in a sweet little face. I'm just going to do some simple little sleepy eyes here. Those are just like little smiles. And then just a nice little smile. So that's our brontosaurus guys thank you so much for drawing with me if you enjoyed this video don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel so until next time for another draw with sandy at the little artistic nook keep making art and keep smiling